बोले वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय सियावर राम चंद्र की जय पवन सुध हनुमान की जय उमापति महादेव की जय राधा रानी की जय अज्ञान तिमिराधस्य ज्ञाना जनशला कया चक्षुर्नीलित तस्म श्री गुरव नमः वर्णनामर्थ संघाना रसाना छंदी मंगलाम च कर्तार वंदे वाणी विनायक ओम नीलांबुज श्यामल कोमला सीता समारोपित बाम भाग पानव महासायक चार चाप नमा राम रघुवंशनाथ कर्पूर गौर करुणावता संसार सार भुजगेन्द सदा वसत हृदय भव भवानी सहित मनोजवंगुतुल्य वेग जितेन्द्रिय बुद्धिमता वातामज बानर यूथ मुख्यम श्रीराम भुजगतलगत घन सुंदर गरुवाहनमुजलोचन जलधिजाश्रितम कलीवर भजत रे मनुजा कमलापति बुलिसियावर राम चंद भगवान की जय बुलि वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय उमापति महादेव की जय पवन सुध हनुमान की जय राधा रानी की जय रामायण सुमिर जही सुमिरत सिद्धि हो गण नायक करीबर करो ग्रह सो बोधिराशी शुभ गुण सर मुख हो जासुपासुदया सकल कलिमल नील सरो तरुण हरुण वारी झनयन करो सुम सदा क्षीर सागर शयन कुंड कुमार मन करुणाय 
जाहिदीन पर दे करो कृपा मर्दन मय बनता गुरु पर कृपा सिंधु नर रूप हरि महामोह तम पुरु वचन रवि कर सियापति राम पुलिसियावर राम चंद्र भगवान की जय वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय आदरणीय पंडित जी प्रिय भक्त समुदाय महानुभाव रिस्पेक्टेबल पंडित जी पंडित सत्यानंद महाराज जयस दिवोटीज ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉ द डिवाइन सोर्स फर्स्ट एट मिस राधे राधे टू इच एंड एवरी वन एंड माई प्रणाम माई हम रिस्पेशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू टू ऑफ यूअर्स ऑन सोशल मीडिया फेसबुक यूट्यूब एंड ऑफकॉर्स भक्ति टीवी A very special Radhe Radhe to you also, and my pranam, my humblest prostrations, and welcome. I want to say a special thank you to Pandit Satyanand Maharaj, the spiritual head of the Satya Anand Ashram, where we are here today, and producer of Bhakti TV, through which those online are able to look in on live right now. Very special thanks. to pandit ji for making this yatra live as we know we are doing this year a ramayan yatra culminating in celebration of ram navmi and also celebrating the return of bhagwan shri ram to ayodhya ram lala after about almost 500 years so in special recognition of that and also the celebration of ram navmi we have in this ramayan ram charitra manas ramayan yatra throughout trinidad and tobago tonight is the fourth night of the special yatra before i begin the pages of the holy scripture ram charitra manas i ask you to join me in bhajan a sakhi gopi is asking her sakhi her friend hey sakhi kya aapne sham sundar ko dekha have you seen sham sundar shri krishna and the gopi replies yes i have seen him he was playing the basuri the divine flute very sweetly and he was walking behind the cows taking them to graze on the shoulder he had a golden stick on one shoulder and other shoulder he had a black blanket kambal and his yellow clothes pitambal was fl- fluttering in the wind he had a very sweet smile on his lip and and he kept looking turning his head from side to side and looking at the gopis knowing that sham sundar shri krishna was going to go and graze the cow the whole day he'll be out and they won't see him and even a moment without looking at sham sundar was like eons for them they ran out all ran from the house to catch a last glimpse and he kept looking at them turning his head and still their heart with side long glances 
As he was taken the cows, he had his cowhood friends, thousands, <coughs> along with him, Dhanasukha, Manasukha, Shridama, etc. On the way, even Yashoda Maya, she's standing in the doorway, looking, and Sri Krishna knows that, and every now and again he turns around and looks at Maya, Yashoda Maya, until she could no longer see him in the distance with love in his eyes. This beautiful bhajan, pad, divine composition, written by Jagar Gurutam Kripalu Mahaprabhu. We, from his book, Prem Ras Madira, we will sing. Hum dekhe shamal gaatre Hum dekhe shamal gaatre Hum dekhe 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 Shamal Gatere Hum Dekhe Shamal Gatere Page 20 in the book, 22-0 Madhur Madhur Dhuni Penu Pajavat Madhur 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 Dhuni Tenu Bajavat Madhur O Gaiyan Pache Jatre Tum Dekhe Shamal Gatre Sangha 
धन सुख मन सुख श्री राम आगमित सखन जमात रे हम देखे श्याम लगा हम देखे 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 शाम गाजरे हम देखे शाम गाज झूमि कृपाल चलत पुरे सज to mention uh, pandit devendra also from the vaidhi trinidad is with us tonight also to recognize pandit ji and thank you for being with us pandit ji tonight to any other pandits well we welcome and special respect to all of you we <coughs> begin to read it now of katha tonight राम सिया राम सिया राम जय जय राम बोलो राम बोलो राम सिया राम सिया राम जय जय राम बोलो राम
बाग बसुंद जी गरु जी महाराज ने काग बसुंद जी से सात प्रश्न किया बहुत महत्वपूर्ण प्रश्न ये सात प्रश्न पहले प्रश्न रात कल रात को सुना है कि प्रथम ही कहू नाथ मत धीरा सब थे दुर्लभ कावन शरीरा आज कुछ और प्रश्नों का कोशिश करेंगे उत्तर देने का पहले बर दुख कावन कावन सुख भारी सूक्षण क्षेप ही काहू बिचारी इज वेरी फेमस कथा इन द रामायण वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी फेमस इज कॉल सप्त प्रश्न सेवन क्वेश्चन काक बसुंद जी महाराज द ग्रेट डिवोटी ऑफ भगवान वॉज आक सेवन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बाय गरु जी महाराज द व्हीकल ऑफ द लॉन वाहन These seven questions are very important. Last night we heard the first one. Prathama hi kahu naath mati dhira sabte durlab kavan sarira. Guru ji said to Kaag Basund ji, Oh my strong mind master, first of all tell me what is the rarest and most difficult birth to take. And we heard. That there is no form equal to the human form. Kaag Basundar Ji replied and said, "Naratam samane hi kavani hu dehi, jeev chara chat ja chat jehi." There is no form equal to the human form. It is so important this human birth, chara achar, animate as well as inanimate beings. A desire to get birth in the human form. Forget animate, inanimate, even devotees. Those residing in heaven, we call devotees. Agni, the god of fire. Vayu, the god of wind. Kubera, the god of wealth, etc. Indra, the king of heaven. They are begging and praying. To get this human body, so valuable and so difficult to attain. We heard in detail last night. <coughs> the second question, he asked. Second and third. Bar dukh kawan kawan sukh bhari. What is the greatest suffering? सबसे बड़ा दुख है इस संसार में क्या है? काक बसुंद जी आंसर एंड सैड नहीं दरिद्र सम दुख जग माही देर इज नो ग्रेटर सफरिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड दैन पॉवर्टी टू बी पॉ दरिद्रता लुक It's important to understand where we get wealth from. One of the tenets of Sanatan Dharma is daan, charity. Tulsidas Ji Maharaj says in the Ramayana, Doha. प्रगत चार पर धर्म के कलिमल एक प्रधान रामा कलिमल एक प्रधान ये नीति दान करे कल्याण रामा दान करे कल्याण सिया राम चंद्र कर 
प्रगट चार पद धर्म के धर्म दैट विच ऑफ होल्स सोसाइटी धारण करने वाला धारण इस कॉल धर्म धर्म इज बेस्ड ऑन फोर प्रिंसिपल्स इट स्टैंड्स ऑन फोर प्रिंसिपल्स सत्य दया शौच एंड दान सत्य ट्रूथफुलनेस टू स्पीक ओनली द ट्रूथ लाइक हरिश्चंद किंग हरिश्चंद Satyavadi. These things are only in books. Daya, compassion. To forget one's own self and thinking about others only. To be compassionate. To think only about others. Shouch. Shauch means purity. Not taking a bath. Purity in thought. Pavitra vichar. To have pure thoughts in the mind. Good thoughts, pure thoughts. And dan charity. These are the four. So in age like Satyu, the very first age, this existed all four in the greatest way, all four of them. In the age of Treta Yuga, it also existed, but to a lesser extent. In Dwapar, again it existed, but even lesser. And in Kali Yuga, only one remained. Pragata Chari Paradharma ke Kali Mala Eka Pradhan. Only one remains in the age of Kalyug. Ye na ke na vidhidi ne u daan karai kalyan. Daan charity. There is no truthfulness in this age of Kalyug. Very little. Mostly jute, lies. The nature of human beings to lie. Of course, nobody likes anybody to lie to them. I hate when anybody lied to me. So you never lie? I lie all the time, but nobody should lie to me. <laughs> Satya. There's not none. Nothing call you. They are no compassion. First me, then I'll think about anybody else. Shouch, beauty, doth, having pure thoughts, acha vijar, vijar. Every moment we think in wrong thoughts, we think negative thoughts about others, etc. So only one remains, dan, charity. We can do charity, dan. Manuji Maharaj, the lawmaker. Also says in Manu Smriti, Daan me kam kalau yuge. In the age of Kalyug, only one dharm remains, Daan charity. Daan me kam. Only dharm. Only Daan. <coughs> so we have to give Daan charity. Look, why? Someone may say, why do I have to give charity? Bhagwan says, Bhaiya, I've given so much things to you free. I don't charge for the rain. I don't charge for the sun. I don't charge for the wind. The grass, the trees, all these things. I don't charge for it. Free. This human body is given to us the greatest thing, free. So you owe a debt to me. 
Not only that, even if we are vegetarians, we eat only vegetables, bacon, boda, tomato, cucumber, etc. They also have life. The soul rotates in 8.4 million forms of life. It also goes into plants, trees, grass, etc. We take in life. A very low form, but we take in life. We commit in murder. The Bhagavan says to forgive for that and to pay for the debt you owe me, I ask for Dashanj. Thus, Ansh, the Sanj, 10% of your earning you should give in charity. This is a debt we owe. If we don't give the 10%, what happens? If we give it 10%, do we get anything? No. You go to a store or someplace and you, oh, these nowadays we, we take things on credit, credit card. You pay off the credit card, you pay off the debt. So by giving the 10%, we have paid off our debt. I don't get anything, so I'm not going to give it. No. If you don't give it, it's a pap, sin. Bare pap, very big sin. We will we'll be thrown into hell, rotate in 8.4 million forms of life, etc. For not giving. Not only that, the biggest punishment for not giving Dan charity, next time we get human birth, we'll be born very poor. Very poor. How do we get wealth? So when you give the 10%, you cover your debt. When you give more than the 10%, that goes in our spiritual bank and multiplies and comes back as wealth to us in the next lifetime. That's how we get wealth. You heard the saying, the more you give, the more you will get. That's a very true saying. Very true. You don't give, you can't, you will never get. Don't blame anyone. When we don't have. Nobody likes to blame themselves. This is mine, I'm not going to give anybody. I'm a Brahmin, I'm only supposed to get. No, Brahmin, take and give also. When Brahman is taken down, he is taking the sin of the judgment. Don't keep it, bhaiya. Daan lena or daan dena. You have to give also. Everybody has to give. No matter who we are. <coughs> it's a death we owe. Charity is very important. But, ah, there's a vidhi, a rule. Ye na ke na vidhi di ne u da na kare kalyan. If we give according to the rule the right way, we'll get all the blessing, upliftment. Daan can even take us to Bhagwan. There are examples in the scriptures like Harishchan, just by giving daan. He attained God. He went to Bhagwan's abode. Only by giving dan charity in the right place. Guru. Bhagwan Krishna says in Gita, Deshe kale cha patre cha tadanam satvikam smitam. Chapter 17, verse 20, Gita. Ah, we have to give dan charity. We have to. But be careful according to the vessel where you give the dan, the charity, that's the benefit you're going to get. You give it in the wrong way, in the wrong place. Instead of getting benefit, we can get harm. There are four patra, four vessels. Tamasik, Rajasik, Satvik and Nirgun. 
If we give da'an to a tamasic person, we give da'an to someone and he misuses it. He uses it in the wrong way, to drink alcohol, eat meat, to fight and maybe kill someone. We go to hell. We get punishment. We aid it and abet it. We give it to a rajasic person, or someone uses it in a rajasic way, to enjoy the material world. We get rajasic from we get rotated in 8.4 million forms of life. <laughs> we give it to a sattvic person. He uses it in a sattvic way. We can go to heaven, swarag. We get birth in a very rich home in the material world. Very wealthy, etc. So this is, this tree are binding. Even heaven is binding. Tamasic, Rajasic, Satvic. The fourth vessel, Nirgun. Beyond the three modes of Maya. When we give it to a true saint, a true guru. When we utilize it for Bhagawan, we give it to a saint. We get divine fruit. That same dawn can take you to Bhagawan. Because it's been given in a divine vessel. You get divine fruit. <laughs> a saint comes in the world. And he knows how miserly we are. Miserly. We will not even give one dollar. So, in order for our benefit, he makes up things. Picnic, coffee, do this, do that. For our benefit, Hamara Kalyan. Because we're not going to give it by itself, do it by, itself, by ourselves. For our benefit, he does all of this. And he gets a bad name. Ah, money guru, everything, money, money, money. We, give, we commit Nam Aparad. He is doing it for our benefit. A true guru, a true saint doesn't take. My guru, Jagat Guru, Tam Kripalu Mahaprabhu would always say, Mai kisi se leta nahi, mai deta hu. I don't take from anyone, I give, I give. Mai deta. When we give to a saint, number one, everything belongs to Bhagwan and saint is Bhagwan. They are one and the same. It is his property we are given. And number two, he takes that and makes it divine. Gives us divine fruit for our benefit. So, charity is very important. Everyone should do Everybody has the ability. Look, 10%. If you have one dollar, 10% is 10 cents. If you have a hundred dollars, after you work for the week, 10% is 10 dollars. If you have a thousand dollars, then 10% is a hundred dollars. You have 10,000 dollars, then 10% is a thousand dollars. Bhagwan does not look at how much you can, how much you give. He looks at how much you can give. So in this way, everybody can give. Everyone can give. Don't say I can't. It's for our benefit. And we don't give. This is a very long story, Bhaiya. As I said, one of the punishment for not giving Dan charity. Besides having to go to hell, etc. When we get to human birth again, we'll be born very poor. And here Tulsidas Sri Kaag Basundaji is saying to Garuji, the greatest suffering in the world is poverty. You don't know. We get three meals a day, every day. Hmm? You have shelter, you can go in the home and the rain is falling. If it's too hot, you can put the AC on. 
Through coal, you can put the heat. There are people who live in the street. They go in the, in the waste bin. Somebody has thrown something in the dustbin and they look for something to eat from there. Can you imagine the suffering? The pain? Huh? We don't know. We can't imagine. One guy, he felt things were so bad with him. That life was so bad, he decided I'm going to commit suicide. It's not worth living. So he went and climbed a tree. And he tied a rope and put a rope around his neck. A noose. And he had one last banana. A ripe banana. So before he jumped, he decided to eat his last banana. He peeled the banana, threw the peel on the ground. And he was eating the banana. And while he was eating the banana, he saw somebody coming on the path. Below the tree, he picked that person, picked up the banana peel that he threw away and started to eat it. He thought to himself, I thought I was in a bad position. Huh? I still had a banana to eat. Look at this guy. He didn't even have a banana. He's eating the skin. Very quietly, he took off the rope, came down the tree and went home. When we think things, when we think that things are bad, there's always someone who is in worse position than us. My guru would say in the material world, when you look in the world, look at those who are blessed in materially. You have two feet, there are people who don't even have two, they, they have one or they don't have any. You have eyes, there are people who don't have eyes. Huh? You may be sick, but you have eyes, you have feet. You get three square meals a day. And some can even get one meal for the week. So in the material world, we look at those who have less than us. We realize how fortunate we are and be thankful. And the spiritual world, we look at those who have more than us. Who have more bhakti, more love. That every moment, and if they always chant in the name of the Lord. They're always in satsang. They never make excuse not to be in satsang. They're always chanting. The tears are always flowing from the eyes. <coughs> look at those. So it will help you to inspire you. If that person can do it, my brother, sister can do it, I can do it also. It will inspire you to become better spiritually in this way. And sabse bara sukh kya hai? What is the greatest happiness? Kaag Basundi say, That the greatest Sukh Happiness Santa Milana Sama Sukha Kachunahi There is no happiness greater than meeting a saint, Sant. One who has attained God. Especially you meet a Rasik saint. Why? Would Tulsidas Kaag Basundaji say to Garuji, the greatest happiness in the world, that there's no happiness equal to someone meeting a saint. We in the world would think there's no happiness greater than having a nice moruka, a nice house, nice children, a nice husband, a beautiful wife, etc. Here Kaab Basundiji is saying, there's no greater happiness than meeting a true saint. Because when you meet a saint, you meet Bhagawan. Thus means that Jane Bheda Bhava Narad Bhakti Sutra. Naraji says in Narad Bhakti Sutra, there's no difference between God and the saint, one who's attained God. Why? When someone attains God, everything that Sri Krishna, Sri Ram has, he gives to that soul. Dadami buddhi yogam tam yena maam upayantite. Chapter 10 verse 10 Gita. Infinite knowledge, infinite bliss, infinite everything.
डिवाइन बॉडी डिवाइन माइंड डिवाइन भगवान कृष्ण हिमसेल्फ से इज इन भागवत महापुराण आचार्य माम भी जानिया नाव मनियत कर ही चित नमर्त्य बुद्धिया सुयत सर्वदेव मयो गुरु इलेवन कांटो सेवेंटीन चैप्टर ट्वेंटी सेवन वर्स भागवत महापुराण भगवान कृष्ण से उधाव know the saint one who has attained the shri krishna god shri ram know that saint to be shri ram himself shri krishna himself maam bijaniya known to be me do not see him as a man as a worldly person you don't have the right eyes you can't see do not use your material intellect to judge him I know that all forms of God resides in Him. The day you happen to meet a true saint, especially if you meet a rustic saint, one who's drunk the highest bliss of Radha Krishna, you are meeting Radha Krishna personified. You should fall on unconscious with bliss. If we understand that. How many people met Jagat Guru Tam Kripalu Mahaprabhu, the greatest Rasik saint? Did we realize what who we met? Huh? We had no idea. We met Radha Krishna personified. Of course, we didn't have the right eyes; we couldn't see. This is why Kaag Basundar Ji said. To meet a true rustic saint, it's the greatest happiness. There's no greater happiness than that. Our saint, our asant ki paribhasha. The next question he asks: the difference between the saint, the good person, the saintly person, and the wicked person. What differentiates the saintly person, the good person, and the wicked person in the world? चरण मन काया संत सहज स्वभाव खगराया काक बसुंद जी इसे टू गुरु जी महाराज हे गुरु जी बाय वर्ड्स टॉक्स एंड डीड्स वचन मन काया बाय वर्ड्स टॉक्स एंड डीड्स द सेंस दे आर द डू परोपकार परोपकार मीन्स टू बी बिनोवलेंट 
to only think about the welfare of others, not to think about oneself. We in the world, we not paro upakar. We think about ourselves only. What makes me happy? Me first. Ah, we'll help others. We see somebody is hungry and we have two roti. I will give you one, but first I must have, I must make sure I have one first. <laughs> and there are some who not even give, no matter they have ten. To the point that they will even they see a starving person hasn't eaten for a whole week because says, is there some one roti? First time he's gotten a roti, he grabs it, <coughs> that roti, and eats it, not caring that person may die. The wicked person. The saint, he will starve himself. <coughs> Sahaja Subhav. His nature, he can't, his nature is like that. Naturally benevolent. And he gives a wonderful example here. Bhur Jataru Samasanta Kripala Parahit Sahanita Vipati Vishala. There's a tree called a Bhoj Patra. Long ago, there was no paper factory. Five thousand years ago, more than five thousand years. In the age of Dwapar, there was no paper factory. But Veda Bias and many and other saints wrote the scriptures. Veda Bias wrote Bhagavad Mahapuran, the Puranas, Mahabharata, etc. Some of those books exist. What did he write it on? He wrote it on the bark of a tree. There's a tree that's made of, it's made of bark only, bark. It's called Bhoj Patra. You keep taking the bark out of the tree. Eventually the tree is going to die. For the sake of others. And so the saint. The saint comes in the world. He doesn't have to come. Why should a saint want to come in this world? Does he get anything by coming here? Eh? What does the saint get when they come here in this world? Look at the history of saints. Tulsidas, Surdas, Meera, Tukaram, Nanak, Gorang Mahaprabhu, Jagar Gurutam, Kripalu Mahaprabhu. When they came in this world, what did we do? We cuss, criticize, abuse, give them a bad name, beat them. Throw them in jail. What we didn't do? Poison them. What we did not do? Every saint. This Ramayana I'm reading. When Tulsidas wrote this Ramayana in Varanasi, he wrote this Ramayana in Avadi. There's another Ramayana was written much before by Valmiki in Sanskrit. The great saint Valmiki wrote original Ramayana in Sanskrit. Tusidas Ji, knowing this is the age of Kalyu, and for the upliftment of the souls like us in this Kalyu that we can't understand and read Sanskrit, etc., the, the people, the normal, the common man, he wrote the Ramayana in Avati. The language of the people. And the pundits of Kashi at that time, they didn't like that. How many attempts they made to destroy this Ramayana of Tulsidas and kill Tulsidas also? How many attempts they made? And today, we make a living reading the same Ramayana. Huh? Every saint who have come. Today we sing the bhajan 
of Mirabai. We sing the beautiful bhajans. So Mirabai, she used to dance for Sri Krishna. She would sing and she, would, she was a princess. But she loved, she married, she got married to Sri Krishna. And she would dance and sing. And her in-laws, they didn't like that. Not strangers, her own in-laws. They decided, let's get rid of Meera, Meera Bai. They put poison, wish poison in a, in a bowl and sent it to her, saying it was nectar. They put a poisonous snake, cobra, poisonous snake, in a basket, covered it and sent it with someone telling her this was a garland for the Lord. Not even thinking, Mirabai put her hand inside the basket. But she didn't even look, she put her hand with her feet. And what happened? She brought a beautiful garland out. She drank the poison, it really became nectar. The saints come in this world, they're, they're, they're given bad name, propaganda. Why? Because they're going to tell us the right thing. You see, we read the scriptures and we think we understand what the scripture is saying. We interpret according to our intellect. To Siddhartha says in the Ramayana, Bhagavad Rasik Rasik Ki भगवत रसिक रसिक की बातें रसिक बिना को समझ सके ना खग जाने खग ही कह भाखा दूसरा जी महाराज से जिस इस अ बर्ड अलोन कैन अंडरस्टैंड द लैंग्वेज ऑफ अनदर बर्ड सो टू ओनली अ रसिक सेंट वन हुज अटेन गॉडलाइजेशन कैन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज रिटन बाय अनदर सेंट these are divine words. There's a deeper hidden meaning. When we read the scriptures with our material intellect and interpret it, we give a material meaning for divine words. Only a saint, one who has attained God, can tell us what is written. Someone has to become to Siddhas to know what is written in the mind. To understand what is in Gita, we have to become Arjun. How many Arjuns are there? But everybody think we know. Yeah, somebody translated in English doesn't mean that he knows. He just take a dictionary and translate. Doesn't mean he understands. Every word in Sanskrit, it can put thousands of meaning according to the context in which it is used. Take for example, the word Akash. Akash in the Vedas, Akash refers to Bhagwan. Akash means sky. In Ved, at one place, Bhagwan is called Akash. At one place, Bhagwan is called Agni. Agni means fire. At another place, Bhagwan is called Purush. Purush means man. Hmm? 
If you take a dictionary and we translate, as, that, as we have done, as people have done, we'll make a total mess. That's why the scripture says, Acharyavan Purusho Hi Ved. The Vedas say, Hey, mister, don't come and read me by yourself. Go to the saint, one who's attained God. Let him tell you what is written in Ved, in Puran, in Ramayana, in Gita. Don't read by yourself. You get more confused. So we misinterpret. So the saints are going to come and tell us, Hey, you are wrong. Galak. Nobody wants to hear that. You know, a few days ago, <coughs> Christians celebrated Easter. What is Easter? They put the Christ on a on a, on a cross and nailed him. <laughs> huh? Who did? His own people. They were given a choice. There was a criminal who committed murder. And the Christ was telling them the right thing. But they didn't like to hear that. So they went and they complained to the Romans, the Caesar. And even they were, the, 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 the emperor thought this is not right. But anyhow, I, I cannot just free him. Let me give them a choice. So if there was a criminal who committed murder and put the Christ. And he told the, he told the people, the own people, you choose. And what did they do? They chose the criminal to free. We all know this. It's not hidden. <laughs> the people are saying that Christ is coming again. Maybe he will come. They'll put him on the cross again. Or something else. But this is what we do when saints come in the world. They're going to tell us, say hey, you're wrong. We don't want to hear, we, we can't hear that because we think we know everything. We read a little bit here, a little bit there, and we think we know everything. You don't know, Bhaiya. You're interpreting with a material intellect. Doesn't mean you know. These are divine words. It's called Parokshabad. Parokshabad. So. <coughs> This is about the wicked, the, the, the saintly people. What about the wicked one? Let's hear. So before, the saintly person, the saints, they destroy their own happiness for the sake of others. They only thought about the welfare of others even though they come to harm themselves. This is the nature of the saint. And the wicked person, Sanaiva Kala Parabandhan Karai Kala Karhai Vipati Sahi Marai. You know, somebody's in a hole and you see another person, I'm going to put you in the hole also. 
I alone cannot be in the hall. When people in the wall see others uplifting spiritually, it's a very big thing. They will do everything to bring you down to them and bring you lower, even if they die in the process. Worldly people cannot bear to see others progressing spiritually. It's very hard. Are bhaiya, we born in the same village. We grew up together. And today you are Babaji. Today you chant in Radhe Radhe. Huh? What's wrong with you? Come, let's go to the rum shop. Let's have a drink. Come on, man. Let's enjoy the world. The saint, they take us out of this world, this material world, they take us to Bhagwan. they free us from Maya. The worldly person, they do everything in their power, the wicked person, to bind us in Maya, even if they die in the process, to bring us down. Nobody wants to see anyone go. And he gives an example here. He says, Kala bin Uswarat para apakari Khal, khal means wicked. They do para apakari. There's two words here. Para upakar means benevolent. To be benevolent, to think about others only. And para apakari means the opposite. To destroy others, to bring them down. The wicked person, he will do everything without any reason to cause harm to others. And two example he gave, Ahi Mushak Evasuna Uragari. Ahi and Mushak. Ahi means snake. Mushak means a rat. A snake bites someone. Poisonous snake. A cobra snake. Bites someone and this person dies, the snake doesn't get anything. Do you think a snake gets anything when somebody dies, when he bites someone? It's only a, 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 the snake that's a, 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 the sting that, that venom, venom is a thing of defense, self-defense. To protect itself. It doesn't get anything from that. The rat comes in the house and it chews everything. All the paper, all the books, the cloth. The rat doesn't get anything. Without any reason. It causes harm to others. The wicked person is like that. He causes harm to others. This is the difference between the saintly person and the wicked person. Santa Udaya Satata Sukhakari Vishwa Sukhada Jimmy in the Tumari. When wicked people come in this world, Dushta Udaya Jaga Arat Dhetu Yatha Pasiddha Adham Grahrik Dhetu. When wicked people come in the world, they cause pain and suffering in this world. Pain and suffering. And when the saints come in the world, they are like the sun and the moon, they bring happiness. They bring happiness to this to everyone in this world. There's a difference between the wicked person and as briefly he's saying here and the saintly person. The next question. Punya or Pap? What is the greatest Pap sin? And what is the greatest Punya? Good action.
वेद में कहते हैं अहिंसा परमो धर्म द ग्रेटेस्ट धर्म गुड एक्शन वी कैन परफॉर्म इज नॉन वायलेंस नॉन वायलेंस डज ओनली मीन बीटन ऑफ समबडी एनीथिंग व्हिच कॉज इज हार्म टू एनीवन हर्ट नॉट टू डू एनीथिंग व्हिच विल मेक एनीवन hurtful will be hurtful to anyone the great sin is to cause hurt in the mind so ahinsa parmo dharma the way they say the greatest dharm is non violence and as i said don't think it's only in terms of beating somebody up harming them physically in the heart in the mind sometimes that is even worse when we have when we do something we say something which we know if you don't know you say it and do it and you don't know it's going to hurt the person is different but you know only this is going to make that person cry is going to hurt them i am going to tell that person such a thing that they will feel we know we look for the that you see we have a way If somebody has a soft spot huh we know exactly if i tell them this thing is going to hurt them that is the greatest sin not to do that not to cause that kind of hurt is the greatest harm aur par ninda sam aghana garisa par ninda to find faults fault finding there's no greater sin than fault finding to look at the faults to find faults to think negative thoughts to insult to abuse there's no greater sin pap agh pap भगवान श्री राम इसे सुशबरी अष्टम जथा लाभ संतोषा सपने हु नहीं देख ही पर दोषा शबरी द एट टाइप ऑफ डिवोशन इज टू बी कंटेंटेड वेद इन गेन और लॉस एंड सपने हु नहीं देख ही पर दोषा नॉट इवन इन ड्रीम to look at the faults of others for a devotee especially the greatest harm we can do to ourselves looking at the faults of others is so dangerous that shri ram is saying not even in dream why is it so harmful number one when we find faults in others it means we are faulty to start with that's how we can find faults and number 2 we are thinking i am better than you the person we are finding faults with oh he is like that eh? he is and we tell others also to not only do we cause harm to our own self we call harm to others hey hey i have something to tell you yeah 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 please tell me you see that girl Oh she did this and she did that and, and this very sweet huh? we love to hear these things the more the scripture says the more we like to hear dirty things bad things about others this is proof that our heart our mind is extremely sinful dirty if somebody has purity in the heart 
They cannot bear to hear those things. All they want to hear is about Shri Krishna, about Radha Rani, Shri Krishna, about the saint. They want to hear good things. They don't want to hear the world and stuff. A true devotee can't tolerate these things. And we in the world, this is the sweetest thing. We love the more dirty, the more worldly we loved. And that is proof that our heart, our mind is extremely sinful, extremely dirty. Nobody has to tell you. We can judge for ourselves by how much interest we have. So the person is committing double crime. By finding faults, by looking at the faults of others, he's committing sin on himself. Because when we find faults, we already have so much, we add more. We add more. And then we call somebody and tell them also. Somebody is sitting quietly thinking about Bhagwan. Hey, come, 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 I have to tell you something. Oh, you spoil the whole person's mind. Now they start thinking about that now. So double criminal, double crime. Don't do that. Try not to insult and abuse others. Do not do anything which will cause hurt. Try your best. We don't only harm, when we think we are harming someone, we end up harming our own self. I give an example. Bhagwan Krishna says in Gita, Krodhar Bhavati Sammoha, Sammoha Smriti Vibrama, Smriti Banshar Buddhinasho Buddhinashar Pranashyati. Chapter 2, verse 63, Gita. You know, we get angry in the world. Somebody does something. Somebody does something against us. And we feel, hurt, we feel hurt. And we decide to take revenge. We get angry. And we decide I'm going to fix that person. So we say such words. <laughs> stinging. That that person will get hurt. And we say, I fix you good. But in the process, we fix ourselves even better. Sri Krishna says, from anger comes delusion. When we get angry, from anger comes delusion. From delusion, loss of memory. When we lose our memory, we lose the power to discriminate. And everything is destroyed. We destroy ourselves when we get angry. So we save ourselves. Don't do these things that will cause harm. There's a great, great teachings. We'll do a bhajan. Things happen to us in the world. And sometimes we think, my God, Bhagwan is being angry with me. I was, I was given a discourse this morning and I mentioned Avasya meva bhoktavyam kritam karma shubha shubha We have to bear the fruits of our action, good and bad. God gives us free will but He does not give us the right to decide the fruit. He decides the fruit. He gives the fruit. So number one, when we perform actions in the world, we are going to bear the fruit, good and bad. Good or bad. And the one who is given the fruit is Bhagawan, Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna says, I give the fruit. If I love Bhagawan, then whatever Bhagawan gives me, I will take it like prasad. This is why Bhagawan Sri Ram is saying to Shabadi, Ashtama Jatha Labha Santosha. The eighth type of devotion is to be contented, whether in gain or loss. When we get everything we want, we are very happy. 
When you lose everything, are you still very happy? Huh? You get sick. You lose money. Someone steal your money. Someone steal your motor car. Do you say Jai Bhagwan? No. A devotee looks at everything as Ram Kripa. When things are hard, Jai Ho Bhagwan. Kripa. When things are good, Jai Ho Bhagwan. Everything is Kripa. कोई समझे कोई समझे कोई समझे भक्त सुजान राम नित कृपा करते राम नित कृपा करते कोई समझे कभी को मलहास प्रभु का कभी को जलहास प्रभु का कभी को मलहास कभी को जलहास प्रभु का सब भांति करे कल्याण पग पग रक्षा करते हैं राम नित कृपा करते हैं कोई समझ Sometimes he gives, he gives wealth, and sometimes he takes it away. We don't understand what is good for us. All is kripa, sab kuch hai. Kabhi dhan santa parsate, kabhi kinta de parsate, kabhi dhan santa parsate, kabhi. तब सुखदे सर्द समान कभी दुख दुविधा दे राम कृपा कर ज्ञान प्रभु जी देते कभी बुद्धि ही भर लेते कभी बड़ा गौरव मुझे सुनने भाग है कभी रख कर मूल अज्ञान Oh, 
Grace of the Lord comes in many ways. Not only when you get, when you lose also. We have to understand this. Sometimes the greatest grace is when He takes it away. We don't understand that. Shayami Sampatyo Yes Chaicham Yanukraham. In the Bhagavad Mahapuran, Shri Krishna says, Those upon whom I show my grace, I take away everything. Health, wealth, status, beauty, position, everything. So that they may accept no one or nothing as their own but me alone. It's not easy to understand. In the world, we think when we get everything that God has been graceful, merciful. The divine world is different. God wants us to just make Him alone, our own. That we should think only about Him. So anything which is cause an obstacle to that, He will take it away. That is Kripa. That's why God, everything for a devotee is Kripa, Kripa, Kripa. He sees everything as grace, as Kripa. And so, this beautiful Katha, सब की निंदा जो करती है तो ते चमगादुर होई अवतारी a person who can who only find faults everywhere the whole life all they do is find faults they cannot help but everything and they, all they do day and night they find faults काग बसुंद जी से इंटू गरु जी in the next life that person is born as a bat चमगादुर Right? This is what Kaak Basundiji is saying. Let's get rid of this habit of finding faults and looking for negative things only. If you have to look, look for something good. We are already so faulty. When you look at bad things, you bring that inside of us. We add more. We already have so much. We add more. That's why it's so dangerous. Paraninda, paradosh. Especially for a devotee. Try to very always look at the mind and see what the mind is doing. Don't let it go. In some of our nature, all we can do, all we do is day and night, just complain, complain, come oh, this one is like this and that one is like that. And, and who are you? What about you? I'm saint. I'm great. Abhiman. Pride and wanting Bhagwan and saint cannot tolerate. You want to be a devotee, you want to be sadhak, kabhakt. Then we have to be humble. God loves humility. He's called Dina Bandhu. Radha Rani is called Dina Bandhu. Sri Ram is called Dina Bandhu, the friend of the humble. We want to get close to Bhagwan. We want to become Bhagwan's friend. Then we have to become humble. How humble? 
Gaurang Mahaprabhu says in the Shikshastak, we have to become humbler than a blade of grass. And that will only happen when we stop finding faults. If you have to find faults, let's look at ourselves. <laughs> if we look deeply, because we are on the Maya, we're not God realized, as long as we are on the Maya, we have all the faults inside of us all. We can't see the different thing. Let's look at ourselves, our own faults, and try to fix our own self. Don't fix anybody. All right? There's much more we'll hear next time. Bolisya Varam Chanda Bhagwan ki jai Brindavan Bihari Lal ki jai Radha Rani ki jai 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 Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe